Tyner is live tonight at the Tippecanoe County Courthouse where she has more on day three of D'Artagnan Porsche's jury trial. Brittany? Jeff, Gina, witnesses have been coming and going all day long to the Tippecanoe Courthouse to give their testimonies against 24-year-old D'Artagnan Porsche. Porsche is on trial for the murder of 26-year-old Clarence Smith. It has been a long day here at the courthouse as Porsche's fate is determined, and along the way, his kids stop by to try and say hi to their father. Be brave. Be brave. That's the advice 24-year-old D'Artagnan Porsche's son has to tell his father. Porsche's kids showed up at the Tippecanoe County Courthouse in an effort to see their dad. My dad's so not guilty. Free my daddy. That's what Porsche's son's shirt read Thursday morning. Porsche is on jury trial for the murder of Clarence Smith. Porsche was one of three men arrested after a robbery didn't go as planned. Smith wouldn't cooperate during the robbery, so court papers say the men shot and killed him. This all happened on July 28th of last year. Thursday marks the third day of Porsche's jury trial. Right now the state's putting on their evidence. Uh, we anticipate their evidence concluding by uh, Friday. Kirk Freeman is the defense attorney for Porsche. He says if need be, the trial will last past Friday. It's my understanding Judge Bush wants to proceed into Saturday. It could go to Monday. I don't know. I don't think a final determination has been made. Some of Thursday's witnesses included Lafayette police officers and detectives who were on scene the night of the shooting. Also, a 16-year-old boy who at the time was 15 years old took the stand. He was with the three men charged with the July 28th murder. Court papers say he was told to wait in the car while the robbery took place. He has not been charged with anything. Michael Anthony Foster has been already sentenced to 50 years in prison and five years of supervised probation. Porsche's trial will continue tomorrow morning. Reporting live in Lafayette, Brittany Tyner, News Channel 18. Brittany, thank you.